You down with BBPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with BBPP? Yeah, you know me. What's that mean? Big buck of power players, fool. Duh. Uh, seriously, since the beginning of time, there is nothing that says I run this town like a big belt buckle. Since the beginning of country music, big belt buckles have remained a staple of masculinity in Southern style. Suck it! <laughs> and even some fierce females have been rocking the neon, spikes, and sequins in their signature waist cinchers. Well, we're obsessed with bling near your thing. Join us as we look at some of country's big buckle power players. Number 10, tell Huey Lewis, JT Hodges, and Justin Moore agree, it's hip to be square. At number nine, we have Gloriana with a three-way belt harmony. Belt. 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 Number eight, we have Miranda Lambert and Ronnie Dunn. Double your belt buckle, double your fun. At number seven, Hank Williams is solid gold. Number six, Brad Paisley's wife, Kimberly Williams Paisley is peaches and cream sequins braided beauty queen. Delish. <laughs> At number five, Jennifer Neon Nettles. Number four, we've got the band Perry with our little rawhide realness. Rawhide. At number three, Martina McBride, It's a Charmed Life. At number two, Lauren Elena, Country Cumberbund Cutie. And number one, our twain gang favorite, is Charlie Daniels with his rendition of She'll Be Coming Around the Rocky Mountain Christmas. Thanks, Thanks Santa! Santa. <laughs> Girls, the time has come. Is it five o'clock happy hour? No. Is it UK game day? No. It's time for my favorite episode. Of Rack to Riches? Bentley on a budget? No, in the closet with Hugh. And this week, we have our very own Laura Bell Bundy. So let's giddy on up and go over to her house. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so this is your closet. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm just reorganizing. So the main thing I heard today, everybody's screaming about denim, which we all know about. Nashville yes. is known for denim. Country music is known for denim. Clearly, you're head to toe denim right now. I didn't even know they made denim dresses, but now I do. They do. do. I'm glad to know that they're tailored. Because when I think of a denim dress, I think of those like Amish smocks <laughs> or Mennonite. You know, you don't want to wear something that says, I make my own butter. My if I wore those shorts, these are my you faves. would know that I was Presbyterian. These are my faves. I actually got those at Forever 21. Uh, this is a skirt. Adorable. A denim skirt. With the pockets. Yes, very it's cute. Wrangler. Very cute. Wrangler is a big theme here. Yes. I'm, I have a lot of Wrangler stuff. And then this is a Victoria's Secret. Um, Jean skirt. Jean skirt. But they're wet. Well, they're just damp. Welcome to Nashville. I don't dry my jeans because it shrinks them unless they're too big. Oh, so you just hang them out to dry. I hang them out to dry. I love these because they go, actually go great with my boots that I have yeah, they on look now. Great. These are my favorite boots. I always wear these. Happy Valentine's Day. You wouldn't see yourself making meatloaf in this. My mom works in Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Discount. <laughs> if you were Wearing a dress that didn't have sleeves on, you were in Los Angeles, say it's breezy or chilly or cool. Would you wear a jacket? Yes. Would you take a jacket with I you? I would take a jacket. Would you take a wrap or a jacket? A jacket. Okay, and what jacket would you take? Well, I typically take my leather jacket that isn't in here, but I like, I love this jacket. Oh, I love it too. And look, it goes with these shoes. Stop it. I know. I didn't, I got them on the same day, but at two different places. We know why the gays love you. <laughs> you have something like this. Mm, Sherry. Bodell. Sherry Bodell. Sherry Bodell. It does. It weighs a thousand pounds. You could not go through airport security in that. I call this fashion shooting range. Okay. I'm going to shoot some questions at you <laughs> and you have got to answer back. Fashion fire. Hair up or hair down? Hair down. Boots or heels? Boots. Bangs or no bangs? I, I have them now, but I'm trying to get rid of them. Pajamas or, not, or, or t shirt? T shirt. Nothing. Whoa. We gotta run in and we'll use this skirt as our base, and then you've gotta come up with an outfit. Okay. What would you do? Well, I would wear this top. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Fur is Norma the new Jean, rage. Norma Jean hides in the closet sometimes. It's okay, we were all there at one time. <laughs> we all had to just spring out. I love this dress, it actually needs to be dry clean. Everything's sort of dirty. This is the hat I like if I'm having a bad hair day in the winter. So I know if I see you in that hat, oh God, it's yeah, turning Yes, there's like a, there's like a there's like a grease pan going on underneath it. 
functional and fashionable. These have to go. You don't like those? No, RuPaul called and she wants everything back. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever worn them. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> When they've never been worn, <gasps> what are those two puff balls? Oh, those are shoes I wore in the Blonde, actually. You could clean your house with them. <laughs> How would you rate my closet? On a scale of one to terrible, I'll give her a three. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh my god. T terrible would be terrible. It's, it's pretty good. Thank you so much, Laura Bell Bundy, for letting us invade your closet. This is one closet that I would not come out of. We'll see you next time.